Okay, so now let's take a look at adding products to your online store. And to do this, go to the e-commerce area. So we'll start with the first and most important lesson. And that is there's one big difference between editing products and editing pages. We edit products by the settings tab, not by the edit tab to open the page editor. And to explain why, I'm going to open both edit and the settings area in a new window. And here in the page editor, notice that the text has curly brackets to merge in content. It doesn't actually display the content itself. Notice this one here is for summary. And when I add information to the summary field, it will merge into the curly bracket in the page editor. Well, there are three advantages for this. It allows content to be loaded quickly, simply by completing fields. It allows products to be uploaded via a CSV file or a spreadsheet. And it allows you to design your own custom product pages. And I'll cover designing product pages from scratch in a full e-commerce session soon. So like and subscribe for that. But in short, to create your product pages, you can drop blocks onto any page just like we covered earlier. So you could create custom pages, say with a video background of the product, with an add to cart button on top. You can design anything with no code. Then when you're happy with the product page, you can apply your design to all product pages in one click with this toggle here in the product page settings. You can also select from many pre-made product designs so you don't just have to have the one that's with your theme. And again, you can apply your design to all product pages with this toggle. Okay, so now let's look at some of the top tips for adding products. Simply complete fields to add your products and you can leave fields blank and the labels won't show on your product page. So simply complete the fields that you need for your product. Now summary is more important than description as this is the summary that will appear in your dynamic widget feeds. Most people just add a summary and leave description and the body tabs blank. The page icon is also the image that appears in your widget while the gallery images are the images that appear in your product page gallery. Tabs are for accordions like specifications, instructions, shipping, returns and terms. And some people like to pop into the editor to change the labels of the tabs manually. Now, if you do this, you only have to do it once for one product. You can then assign your design to all product pages again using this toggle here. Now, options are required if you want your customers to select options for different product SKUs. For example, you can add a tag for colors and then you can click edit on the color tag to give it a color. And on the front end, this will now appear as a color swatch. What's really cool is you can also give the tag an image and now your swatch will display an image on the front end, giving you vast possibilities. You can also make price altering options. For example, 500 mils or one liter size options. So let's take a look at this. Currently, I've got two options for size and color. So it's now very important that I create the variance. And to do this, I click generate variance. Now let's say I want to update the price for all one liter variants. So I can filter one liter. I can check all of the options on the left and then put in the price and all my pricing will be updated for one liter in an instant. Also notice I can set the products for subscriptions to bill monthly or annually. And when you're done adding a product, always remember to click save. And if you're ready to create your next product, you can click clone and all your settings and options will be preserved, allowing you to simply change the title, summary and images, which makes adding products as quick to do here in the UI as it would be in Excel or a Google Sheet. So over in the e-commerce settings tab, there's a link back over to headers where I can choose a header with a shop button, which will turn on my online store. I can also set up my Stripe payment gateway API key here for secure transactions. Now you can go over to Stripe to copy your API key and paste it in here to set that up. You can also set your order notification email that your admin team receives. And you can also set up your order notification email that your customer receives. I can set my shipping information, for example, the flat fee and the price that shipping becomes free after. I can set the price for international shipping with the countries that I ship to. 
And I can also set up a shipping integration with fellow Australian company and global leader ShipStation, or integrations with my favorite platforms like Klaviyo, ActiveCampaign, and MailChimp, who incidentally, we use all of these for our abandoned cart. And of course, you can set up automations via platforms like Make and Zapier. You can manage all of your orders in the Orders tab. And you can see all of your Stripe transactions in the Transactions tab, where you can link to Stripe for your refunds. Now you can export your orders and transactions in the top right. You might put those into Google Sheets, but you can also integrate those via Make and Zapier to put them into the likes of Xero. Now you can also get picking lists to make picking and packing easier. If you don't have warehouse management software or an ERP, this can be a nice starter to get you going and help you manage that. You can choose a layout for your category page and remember to give your category page those correct tags. There are two category pages that come with your theme, so you can also clone these to get you off to a rapid start. Now via the layouts tab, you can also add an AI shop bot as a block into your category sidebar. Now you can also add a shop bot into your header too. And these will suggest products to your customers. They might give them discounts or account credits, or most importantly, they might help customers get updates on their orders. And this is extremely useful as it's always the highest ticketing customer support request. So why not use your shop bot to handle this inquiry and at the same time, incentivize the customer with a discount for the next orders. Okay, well, those top tips are enough to get you started and watch out for our dedicated e-commerce video for more. And if you want the mobile team to do it for you or parts of that, make sure that you click the built for you button to request a quote and we'll be soon passing on leads to our certified AI agency partners too. So if you want to start your own mobile franchise AI agency, stay tuned to the end of this video where I will show you some bonus content on how you can sign up for your mobile franchise agency.